I watched this film for Pacino in anticipation of his role in Martin Scorsese's The Irishman. I have no previous knowledge of the events of the film going into it, which centre on the most successful American football coach in college history who becomes embroiled in a child sex abuse scandal involving former coach Jerry Sandusky. Sandusky abused children and the film revolves around the idea as to whether Paterno knew and whether he did enough in doing the just thing, telling the relevant authorities, or whether he simply turned a blind eye to what was going on. There's quite a few characters involved in this story, including Paterno and his family, the college's staff, and the reporter who broke the story. I did find myself thinking, though, that Joe Paterno was neither an abuser, a witness, nor anything directly involved with the abuse case, so why was the film focusing on him? Why did the film choose to have him as the protagonist? A character actually mentions this in the film, that there is so much focus on Paterno when he shouldn't even be in the equation, since the focus should be on the children and the abuser. There were quite a few people who seemingly turned a blind eye to the events, and yet the film doesn't choose to focus on them. I suppose it's because of Paterno's legendary status in college football that he ended up being unwillingly the centre of the scandal, and a disturbingly huge amount of support and defence for Paterno's actions was aroused in many of the college's students, furious that he was fired. The media also chose to focus on Paterno more than anyone else, because of his status among the public. So this is probably why the film chose to focus on Paterno, but I just question though whether there was enough material from Paterno's side of things to justify a 1 hour 45 minute movie. It does feel pretty thin on plot. I think the film could have done a lot more with the public support for Paterno and how such support is often because of the achievements or status of a public figure as opposed to the controversial action itself. We've seen this numerous times, like for example with Roman Polanski, a man who raped an underage girl and yet gets standing ovations from the Academy for his films and has numerous Hollywood legends signing a petition asking for his absolvement. Would such a fierce defence have been carried out if an average person committed the same act? Of course not. And that's what I found most interesting in regards to Paterno, but the film didn't choose to delve deep with this. In fact, now that I mention it, the film didn't really delve deep into anything. It does feel quite mild, inoffensive and possibly looking not to offend any involved parties. It's not handled like a suspense thriller, nor does it really succeed as really a stimulating drama, and thus it comes off as kind of bland really. A lot was made of Pacino's performance and how about it was his greatest in years, and that might be true, but it wasn't anything to shout about. He was okay, as was everybody involved, but the movie does have a tired, sluggish feel that might have been the result of a director and lead actor well past their prime. I give it a 6.5 out of 10.